I'm Eric Novak and coming up we're going to get our first look at the all new Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. About six years ago, when I started doing the EnviroDad test drive, I had some hopes as to where eco-friendly and family-friendly vehicles would go as I continued to cover them. One of the aspirations that I had was to see a minivan that would have a plug and would run on battery. Well, here I am in November 2016. I'm in Southern California here in the Malibu Hills, and behind me is the all-new Chrysler Pacifica E-Hybrid. It is the first minivan with a plug in option and it's something that I've really been excited to get behind and to have a first drive at. So on this review, let's take a look at this all new first ever plug-in hybrid minivan. When compared to the non-hybrid Pacifica, there is very little visual differentiation to be seen. Distinct front grille and wheel designs, as well as unique badging, are the only visual cues as to this being the hybrid variant. The Pacifica Hybrid uses a large 16 kilowatt battery, which is located where the traditional second row stow-and-go compartments would be found. The second row seats are still fully removable, and the added center weight provides a low center of gravity for improved handling. Chrysler says the Pacifica Hybrid will travel 48 kilometers or 30 miles on battery only and it's a claim I was able to verify and confirm on our media drive. So I'm really liking the driving experience so far with this Pacifica Hybrid. Uh, the uh, designers and the engineers of the powertrain uh, have combined a V6 Pentastar engine uh, with the 16 kilowatt battery to give you a net output of 260 horsepower. Uh, but they've done it in such a way that combines uh, the two together in most urban driving experiences. For example, uh, what it has the ability to do is on uh, acceleration from a stop, uh, it will uh, when necessary, uh, the Pacifica Hybrid will uh, add extra. Will put the gasoline engine on as almost like an afterburner. You will when you when you're on EV only. You need a little extra thrust. Um, it will power up and, and give you that extra bit with the uh, the gasoline engine. However, what I've noticed though is that you still can uh, get a lot of torque in just this 16 kilowatt uh, hour battery without having to worry about the engine. And I've tried it many times from a a stop, you know, such as this right here to see. How much thrust can I really give it before the gasoline engine kicks in? And it's it's been uh, quite significant. I've gotten uh, almost to 100% uh, of the charge on the uh, Cedarita before it kicks in before. So that's overall quite impressive. And of course, we can't complain about the fuel economy either. But overall, I certainly cannot complain uh, about how, well, I guess normal uh, and enjoyable the experience has been in this first ever plug-in hybrid minivan. The interior of the Pacifica Hybrid proves once again that Chrysler knows how to design minivans. The center console is broader than on the old town and country it replaces. Gone too is a traditional gear shift in favor of a rotary dial. The 8.4 inch Uconnect center touchscreen offers a host of information specific to battery use and performance. Power sliding doors and liftgate are standard. With all three rows in use, cargo capacity is 32.3 cubic feet. With the third row still and go feature, cargo increases to 87.5 cubic feet, and with the second row chairs removed, you'll have access to a whopping 140.5 cubic feet of space, or enough to hold 64 sheets of plywood. The amazing new Uconnect home theater system is also available and highly recommended. In designing the Pacifica Hybrid, Chrysler has made sure that there really is no sacrifices. However, there is one exception for a small amount of people who would be considering this car, and that is this does not have the ability to tow. Now, Chrysler executives explained to me that there's really only been about a 5% uptake in uh, trailer package requests in the regular gasoline uh, version of the Pacifica. So rather than modifying the transmission and other aspects to meet towing needs, they decided to optimize everything for fuel efficiency and economy. So that is 
one sacrifice you cannot have in the Pacifica Hybrid, but for me, from my perspective, that's not really a big deal. There is one initial Platinum trim offering in Canada with an MSRP of $56,495. However, the Pacifica Hybrid qualifies for a $14,000 rebate in Ontario, $8,250 in BC, and $8,000 in Quebec. In US, there are two trims starting at $41,995 and qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit. Overall, this first drive of the Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid was as impressive as the West Coast sunsets we were lucky to catch each night. When it comes to car buyers making eco-friendly, sustainable purchases, they'll tell you they want to do the right thing, but they don't want to sacrifice in order to make that happen. Minivan buyers are classic. They want to make the right choice. They want to be more fuel efficient, but they need the storage capacity, the practicality, the versatility that minivans have always offered. This Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid has done an amazing job at meeting those needs. The battery placement below the second row stow and go, while maybe it's given up on that, you can still remove the second row seat. The low center of gravity actually makes for a fun drive. The power within the electric drive is quite impressive. We get great torque and overall it's even priced quite attractively. Especially when you factor in many of the rebates and tax credits that are available across North America, you have a vehicle that's priced within the, the bracket where most people like to buy their minivans and I can't complain. I think this legitimately has the potential to be a true game changer in the large family segment overall. I've really enjoyed my first drive and I can't wait to get more time in it later on. But that's it from now from beautiful sunny Southern California for Envirodad.com. I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, we've got more of them both written and video at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.